Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, I've actually got a double trailer talk. Yep, two trailers in one video. And those are, surprise, surprise, the new trailer for the Super Mario Bros. movie, which, oh my god, looks incredible, and the brand spanking new Transformers Rise of the Beasts teaser trailer. And oh my god, does that one have me excited. But... Considering that it was released first, and the film's going to be releasing before Transformers, I'm going to talk about the Mario movie trailer. And frankly, it was incredible. Oh my god. Of course, we started off the trailer with Mario heading into a coliseum, and the fighting area seems to be based on the um, area of the original Donkey Kong game, which of course Donkey Kong made his first appearance in. And so did Mario. And Mario goes in for an attack on Donkey Kong. And it's actually his jumping punch attack from Super Smash Bros. I'm not sure what it's actually called. I've never played Super Smash Bros. But he tries that. Unfortunately, Donkey Kong kind of grabs his face and then slams into the ground and, re and proceeds to slap him absolutely senseless. Like... Yikes. Donkey Kong had no chill in that moment. Cranky Kong, who seems to be the ruler of what I'm calling Donkey Kong Island, seemed very impressed with his grandson. Princess Peach and Toad looked absolutely mortified. Probably fearing for Mario's life. Because Donkey Kong definitely made sure he wasn't waking up for a little while. Yeah. Um. Then, of course, we had Mario... Again, taking his first steps into the Mushroom Kingdom, looking through the warp pipes, seeing how they worked, finding Princess Peach, doing some training, which seems to be <laughs> like a little obstacle course based on some of the typical Mario platforming, including the fireballs, um, the bullet and bonsai builds, which were really cool to see, because um, bullet balls are like my bullet balls like my favourite ability in Mario Kart. Just saying. And then we saw Bowser again, this time holding Luigi hostage and interrogating him about Mario. Luigi tries to cover for his brother. Does he break? We don't know, because the trailer kind of cut off after um, Bowser ripped a hair out of Luigi's moustache. Ouch, by the way. Brutal. Ugh. And then we see Princess Peach talk to um, the Toads about, of course... Bowser's coming, we need to fight him off, and the Toads basically said, uh-uh, no, 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 I don't think so. At which point, it was just left with the beloved Toad, which we all know and love, and Princess Peach herself. Um, <clears throat> and of course, we also see Tanuki Mario, which, wow, we also see some Fire Flowers, and of course, the Cheap Cheeps, which try to eat Mario's face. And then Princess Peach pulls it off of him, and then it goes to eat Toad's face. Yeah. Of course, at the start of the trailer, we also see a bit of a party going on with um, Bowser's army, in which we saw a lot of uh, the Koopas and the different types, including a new one, which I'm going to call the Koopa Commander, because he hasn't been seen in any game, apparently. Um, so I'm going to call him the Koopa Commander. Will that name be right? I hope so, because it actually has a nice ring to it. And he looks like a commander, a commander type, so I'm calling him the Cooper Commander for now. I hope I'm right on that one, because it does sound good. But, of course, the moment in the trail we were all waiting for, that we didn't know we were going to get. We see Mario in his, Mar in his Mario Kart car. And, of course, he's jumping through the air to land on Rainbow Road. Yup. We, I wasn't expecting that, and I doubt many people were. And then, of course, Mario did his drift speed-up ability and said, Woohoo! In typical Mario fashion. And I've got to say, that trailer has me beyond hyped for this film. I cannot wait for April, because I really want to see this now. But, on to the second trailer of this video. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And... Oh my dear god, this was amazing. We start the trailer with Optimus Primal, 
approaching the new human characters of this film. Don't know who they are yet. I don't think they're um, Charlie. I don't think it's Charlie from the last film. Well, Bumblebee, I don't think it's her, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but we see Optimus Prime will approach them. And then Optimus Prime shows up and says, stand down. Because he's very much, you know, Optimus Primal's big and bulky. He's quite intimidating. And then Optimus Primal says, yeah, Prime, I'm here to help you. Because you're about to face one hell of a threat. And, and Prime's just standing there like, how do you know me? Because, of course, Optimus Primal, from millions of years in the future, and has come back in time to help the Autobots defeat Scourge, or Nemesis Prime, as he should be known, but for some reason isn't. Don't know why. Um, and we see most of our Autobots in their robot modes. We see, obviously, Optimus Prime, who looks pretty much no different from Bumblebee, except that we can now see his actual face under the mask, like the original live-action Optimus. And I've got to say, it looks better. Much better, actually. And, of course, we see the mask come back, and I'm like, okay, that's even better again. But, of course, we also see Bumblebee, who looks, again, no different. Although, at some point in the trailer, he seems to be dead. Yeah, I think I'm going to straight up kill Bumblebee. Which is going to hurt. But I think the time's come. Bumblebee's been the face of the Transformers films for the last, when the movie comes out, 16 years. Sorry, Bumblebee, I think your time's come. Especially now we're in a new era, a new continuity. And the design for Bumblebee really doesn't match the others. Because they're all G1 designed. Bumblebee's still Michael Bay designed, so... Uh, I think Bumblebee's time is up. Which is a shame. But all good things, I suppose. Um, and we know this could be the end of Bumblebee. Because it appears the new human characters seem to be owning... Mirage, who we also saw very, very briefly at the end of the trailer, and from what I could see, he looks pretty damn good. Now, don't get me wrong, him not being an F1 car does make me kind of sad. Because you all know I love F1, and all of us Transformers fans know, in, in, a, in the 1980s, he was an old Ligier. So I'm a bit sad, but a Porsche 911 will do. Very much so. And we do also see his duplication ability from the G1 days, which made me incredibly happy. Uh, I was really happy to see that. But we also did see Wheeljack in his vehicle mode, which is a Volkswagen camper van. Which wasn't what I was expecting from Bumblebee, considering that he was definitely looking to be taking his Lancia um, rally car vehicle mode. Because that was the design they were going for, but Looks as if that's changed for a reason. But hopefully his robot design looks good. But there was something notably missing from this trailer. The Decepticons and Bradicons. There wasn't a single one to be seen. Which makes me wonder, what are they planning with those guys? Because there is no way Scourge is going to be the only villain of this film. I flat out refuse to believe that. And are we going to have one Megatron... Or two. Because, of course, we have the original Megatron, the Decepticon, and the Predacon Megatron. So are we going to get one? Or are we going to get both? But frankly, this trailer looked incredible. The Maximals looked amazing. Primal looked the best. Although, I've got to say, Rhinox was a very close second, and Cheetor was also a very close third. Like, those guys... Looked incredible, and I can't wait to see them in the film. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this double trailer talk for the Super Mario Brothers movie and Transformers Rise of the Beasts. So please, like this video, subscribe to my Rock Sands and Frost YouTube channels. Their links are in the description. My sub button is down there. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed, then it's going to be grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three of the bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications, comment as well, because why the heck not? And let me know what you thought of both of these trailers. And if you're hyped for both of these films, I know I sure as hell am. Once you've done that, Sue, please follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in Linktree in the description, as well as Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. And lastly, please, please, please 
do share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye. <laughs>